Stand by to receive our transmission. Warning, 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 warning. A big welcome, please, for Andy Wright. It's time to kick ass and chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. Hello. 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 <coughs> right. Uh -huh. Yes. So let's get myself sorted. Mike. I've chucked. There we go. I'll be with you in a minute. Just stay with. Stay with. Stay with. Stay with. Stay with. Kevin Hancock, hello Kevin, good evening, hello everybody. Ah, uh, yes, it's not the 12th of July, is it? Today is it today? It's not the 12th of July, what are you doing, boy? Oh my god. Come on, get yourself together. How do I edit that? How do I edit it? Oh, I have to do OBS. Sorry about that. Just bear with. Bear with. Bear with. Bear with. In the fifteen is. 15. So if we do that, quick fix. There we go. We've lost three days. It's okay. No problem. Here. We have arrived. Hey, we've arrived. Just arrived. I've just got back. Had a day, day out. A long day out. Very, very long day. I left at uh, eight thirty. Oh my goodness me! Oh, show you the bag. The bag when you go to these places. It's a um. One big day. Notability. It's um, see-through because uh, because it's got blue in it. It is see-through. Yes. Problem with blue. So, blue transition. Blue. Blue green screen. I think about that anyway. So I have I have literally just arrived back home. Uh, oh, so, uh, down my throat, throat. Oh, excuse me. They're out of the name. Hi, Jamie. Jamie. I don't know if Simon's on yet because uh, I was supposed to give him a, give him a call, but uh, I had time because I've been stuck in my face with food. And so I wanted to get that done before I uh, went live and it's been a bit of a rush. Yes, yeah, so Exeter. <coughs> what a what a distance that is. Eighty eighty eight miles, I think. Okay. So quite a quite a hectic day down to the notability road show one day out. It actually isn't isn't a big day at all. It's only about two hours. But, hey, you know, hey. 
it's a big day for them. They're all day. They're all day, every day. I'm there for two hours. Two hours was it was plenty. Plenty sufficient. I don't know if this is on my mic or on my webcam. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check it. OBS changes Once you obviously hear me, on the Yeti, very loud. Turn it up. What I can do is I can filter, filter. So we turn it up. Make it. Four, six, how's that? One, two, three. That's not enough, is it? Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, let's let's leave it at twelve then, shall we? I don't know how that sounds, whether anybody's bothering to listen tonight, because uh, it is um it was it was uh, not announced at all. I didn't have time to adapt it. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did actually mention it on Wednesday when uh, last last uh, last live stream that we had. So people have obviously had three days to forget me because uh, we've had uh, three days to forget me because five people left <laughs> and subbed. So I don't know why. Maybe it was the last live stream. In like the humour, the toilet humour. Anyway, Kevin. I, I haven't seen you before. I hope you're okay. Welcome. Um, if you're sub to the channel, then very happy about that. If you're not, then sub. Please sub. Uh, then that'd be really helpful. Uh, is there anybody else? Is there anybody else in the house apart from Kevin and Jamie? <clears throat> and of course, uh, I'm here. <coughs> I know there was about four or five. Signed in, but uh, <coughs> oh, so four or five waiting to hear. Hey, San Diego. Hey, what's up? I tell you what we can do is we can actually put the um, the chat uh, chat window. Hopefully, this will work. And there we go. There we are. We're on the chat window. So we can all have a little chat. And just a reminder, uh, people, I know that you wouldn't do it, but uh, just in case you're thinking of putting naughty words and things, uh, basically, you know, be careful because it can uh, it can affect the channel and the uh, video can get taken down if you put too many uh, naughty words there. Uh, obviously, with the live chat being available on the video, not hidden as it is normally so you know please bear that in mind and uh, be be considerate uh, so pf is streaming is he well he's um, pf is streaming every day so you know it's not really fair to say that uh, this is my day uh, it's any day any day is any day is streaming day so <laughs> oh there you go can you make the chat panel cover that whole screen please <coughs> Would you like me to answer that, or would you like to guess the answer to that? <laughs> anyway, lovely to see you, Simon. Sorry I didn't bring you. I didn't have time. I was stuffing my face with uh, food. I have fish and chips. Let me hope that it's not going to make me ill tomorrow. I'm going to Sunday tomorrow, so it'll be all right. Um, Yeah, I haven't even had time to have a drink yet. Uh, I've been out all day. It's been chaos. Anybody else here? Anybody? Is anybody there? Anybody there? San Diego. I don't know where you live, mate. Where do you live? <laughs> oh, that's, a, that's a bit of a joke. I know where you live. I know where you live. <laughs> 
Oh, there we go. And uh, lovely to see you all. All, um, one, two, three, four of you. All four of you. I hope there's going to be some more. We have some more. Anyway, so Exeter. Exeter, lovely place. If As, as long as you're going through it. Um, don't stop there because it's not really... <laughs> not really a place you want to go. <laughs> not too often, anyway. So, yeah, that's all. So I got some video. Oh, hello, Mark. Hello, Mark. Well, welcome. Welcome. So we've got... That says we've got seven lurkers. Oh, okay. Seven lurkers. They'll all have the lurgy tomorrow. Lurk. Uh, saying that uh, I went down to Exeter. Oh, well, uh, it's five, five mark to win. Five mark to win. There you go. See, I've got it off to Pat now. I don't know who Pat is, but I got it off him. Uh, it's perfect. It's per unlike other English language words, which I don't have the form of, I have terrible trouble with. So, five mark N is. Yeah, I, I got that wrong now, because that was overconfidence that did that. Five mark to N. Five mark to N. Yeah, hey, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's exactly what I think. So, anybody down Exeter Way, by any chance? Or in Exmouth? Exmouth Way. Because I was in Exmouth as well. I was zooming around there in the uh, National Trust properties. I did, uh, well, I did three, but I could only get to two. Uh, I think it was two with two, one, two. Yeah, it should have been, it should have been three, but the third one was invisible, just like I am. I, 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 I followed the instructions. It said, down to the bottom, turn left, 200 yards, and you'll be there. And it wasn't, there was nothing there. So I turned around and went up and up, the, um, up this pathway. And uh, there was loads of houses there, but there wasn't a nice National Trust house. So unfortunately, the the video that will probably come out in whenever uh, will be very boring and uh, hardly worth the effort of editing it. However, you know we have to make the effort because they are in the book. Koi fish, hey! Lots of people were talking about me. Oh my God, <laughs> that's, a bit, that's a bit dangerous. Oh my goodness, I hope it's all good. I hope they're not talking about me behind my back because I don't like that at all. Uh, yeah, well, Pompey, or Pompey as I call him. Yeah, he's a nice chap. He will, uh, I gave him a mention. Oh, Pompey, Pompey, I was just talking about you in a nice way. You want some teen crumpets, do you? Oh, yeah, so do I. I'm a bit peckish too. Free tea and crumpets. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that, koi fish. Glad to hear that. And I'm glad that you have subscribed to my channel because that is an excellent channel. And um, I wish the other five, the other five that unsubbed today, I wish they thought the same thing. Because they don't. Huh? And they don't. Uh, uh, they don't love me anymore. Uh, uh. What, do I care? Do I? Hell, do I care? Up there, mate. Up there. <laughs> they, it, I tell you what. If they have unsubbed, it's their loss. Because they will be missing out on such a, a lovely live stream. And look. I got... Big names in my in my channel. Uh, yeah, I've got Pumpy, who's got over a thousand subs, and I've got Land of Smiles, who's got five thousand. You know, I've got some big YouTubers here, and 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 you know, and there's probably some more hidden away that are secretly watching me, but don't want to tell me that they're watching. Yeah, no, I'm not about, <laughs> and it's it's not official. I am not going to rant about anything yet, right? But I might do in a minute. I might rant about those idiot drivers 
do 40 mile an hour. I'll tell you what, on the way home, 40 mile an hour. What the effing hell are they playing at? Why are they doing 40? It's the speed limit is 60. Why are they doing 40? Oh my god. And then they break in every time a, a little bend comes up, they break. And then when there's a little squirrel coming up the side of the road, they break. Mind you, I would probably break too, but um, I'm behind these idiots. And I can't get by because they're going too bloody slow and too fast for the road. It's like, you know, how can you get by it? There's a straight bit. There's a car coming the other way. Oh, my God. Anyway, and then what do they, what do, they do? When they get to a 30 mile an hour zone, they're still doing 40. What is that about? Well, they drive 40 mile an hour everywhere. And I re it really does my nut. Really does. Anyway, was that good? Was that a good rant? Did you like that, Simon? It's a good rant, wasn't it? So you can put that. It's official. It's official. I had a, a rant about people that drive 40 mile an hour. Because they pissed me right off. Anyway. Women driving. Oh, koi fish. Don't, don't even get me started on those. Oh, and, and I'm not being sexist, but for FFS, FFS, oh my God. Oh, sorry, Sandy. Sandy, it was you that was on uh, KBH. We, we, no, hang on. America's on MPH. We're on MPH. We don't, we don't, we're not part of the EU. Allegedly, when when our beloved PM gets her arse angrier and gets us out of Brexit, forty is a good speed for taking a power nap. Yeah, you're right, because <laughs> that's how boring it was. I was actually nearly going to sleep. I was driving. Uh, it's like, oh my god, he's still there. It's okay if they want to drive forty mile an hour. That is perfectly okay. But let me the by. Let me go by because you're doing my nut. <laughs> and and women. Oh, oh, I'm sorry to apologise to all the women drivers. But no, all the women. But women drivers. Don't get me started on driving down the motorway because I had to do that today. I went down the motorway, um, the M5, uh, down to Exeter, and middle lane. What the F is that about? Middle lane. Now, get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. You can drive where the hell you like, but not in the middle lane. It's not allowed. I hope you all realise that there's actually a law that's in, in this country which says do not drive in the middle lane. You get three points for that on your licence and a, and a fine. What do people do? They drive in the middle lane. Gets my goat. Oh, and by the way, in case you're wondering, people, any drivers out there, and I'm sure you all do, or, you know, I'm sure you're all uh, car drivers, um, in the UK, uh, here's a quiz for, question for you. Okay, this is the first question in our quiz. Right, because, as you all know, I promised you a quiz. However, I haven't had time to prepare it. Because <laughs> I've been out all day, so what do you expect? I can't, I've got one pair of hands. Is it legal in the UK to split traffic on a motorway? On a motorcycle? Uh, if you mean going down the middle of two lanes of, of, uh, of traffic, yes it is. So you can do it. Same as that, police guards and ambulances can come down the middle. You should really go to the sides um, officially. You should go through out the way. They can go down the middle. But bikes can go down the middle. They can also go on, uh, go on the outside as well. well. On the inside or whatever you want to call it. But they can go anywhere uh, legally. In actual fact, if you're in the UK and you are polite, then... You should really. I mean, it's not official. Not it's not official, but you, it's polite. Is 
if they've got a bike coming up behind you, just move over slightly so let them by. I always do that. And, and then they give you a little wave as they go by. Like, they don't do that because that's rude. But <laughs> they do that, like, you know, they, they okay, whatever. Yeah. So, um, here's a question. So, here's question number one. In the UK, on the motorway, you have three lanes of motorway. One, two, and three. That's left is number one. And then two and three. Can, if someone's in the middle lane, on the lane two, no, I'm not. <laughs> Why, what was Pumpy doing? What was... <laughs> no, it's okay. That's, that's okay, because that is Churchill. And we can't take the mickey out of Churchill. He's our, our renowned... Prime Minister from the World War Two, so it's perfectly okay to do that. No, it's fine. It's, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Uh, anyway, we can edit it out. <laughs> oh, oh no, we can't. It's live stream. Sorry about that. Anyway, so back to the quick. <laughs> hey, go go hopping. Any more for any more? Because uh, I want to. I want to ask this question. So this question is question one. You're in the middle, you've got somebody in the middle lane, lane two, okay? Can you legally overtake in lane one? Answers on a postcard, please. Down in the chat, in the chat box. Okay, so if you're wondering what, what this moisturizer, <laughs> it's not moisturizer, okay? It's not moisturizer. In actual fact, you can't see, you can't see the label because it's that poorly printed. But this is actually a bottle of my CBD spray. Uh, Jamie, that's the first answer. Can I have some more answers before I give you the real answer? Just do what the tyres do to create a new lane. Quite right. <laughs> I sometimes forget. I sometimes forget where I am, and I, and I really, I really want to just drive wherever the hell I like. <laughs> yes, quite right, Gogo. Quite right, Gogo. You can actually drive anywhere you like, including the wrong way. <laughs> yes. So, hello, Shannon. Hello. And koi fish, uh, where, where are you from? Because, you know, it should be legal. You're going to be surprised by the answer. Uh, yes, so in the UK, you have three lanes of, on the motorway. Is it, le is it legal to undertake another vehicle? Okay. That is the question that we have, which is number one. Are you an Aussie, mate? Yeah. Well, you can you can overtake and undertake any way you like, mate. Uh, I believe that's the law. Uh, I have driven in uh, Oz. I have driven in Melbourne. God, I nearly died. I nearly got wiped out coming out coming out of the airport. I nearly got wiped out onto the old uh, freeway there. The bloody idiot driver! Oh my God! Nearly went in the back of me. Catoy crazy. What is your budget for your one month stays? Oh well, that's a, hey, we got a sensible question. <laughs> well, I'm so I'm taken aback. Thank you for that question. That's a really sensible question. In actual fact, I don't really do it for one month. Well, sorry, I take I'll, I'll take that back. Twenty eight days is my is my limit. Okay. So, you, what you have to remember is, Katoi, is I have a Thai wife. So, any budget that you set is going to go out the window straight away. So, really, I try to spend as little as I can with the hope that the maximum is not too much. <laughs> so, San Diego says no. Uh, 
quiz hasn't started yes it has the quiz is that's the first question we've got the first question which is can you undertake on the motorway in the uk which is a bit hard for people that live in america i know that because you don't really you don't really know the answer but you can have a little guess oh by the way um, i have driven in america as well and what i don't get is how you have um on your freeway how you have you have a junction and you have one on this side and then you have one on this side and it's like and if you're in the wrong lane you can't get off the freeway <laughs> i've done that many times done that loads of times i uh, hi shannon yeah i'm okay i'm okay are we allowed to use google no you're not <laughs> i'm assuming that you go go hopping you're you're driving in thailand so you probably won't know the answer or just guess the answer um unless you're a, a uk uh driver you probably wouldn't know i have to say it was very very annoying today driving down the motorway and people were in the middle lane and i'm not being rude but when you look the driver in the car next to you the majority of them are w women i'm sorry to say they are ladies and they are young ladies and uh will two grand be enough oh my god <laughs> oh my goodness me yes i think you'll probably live like your prince have you got if you've got your hotel booked and everything then spending money that's it unless you're gonna have a uh a lady a different lady every night and you're gonna pay two or three thousand baht each time two grand wow that is a budget and a half and if you're gonna do if you're gonna spend all that then make sure you go round the whole of thailand I, I go around and have a look because there's more to thailand than Pattaya and phuket okay so really really go and do it i mean that's yeah, yeah, I mean that is another point there. Yeah? Good point, San Diego, because if you're from Australia, then that's only about twenty-five baht um, to one dollar. So it's pretty shit. <laughs> so I'm allowed. I'm allowed one of those. So it's okay. Uh, yeah, and I mean even the UK is only forty-two baht at the moment, or whatever it is. You have a girlfriend in Bangkok. Mm lovely chubbly so yeah i mean two grand is probably not enough then <laughs> two grand you probably want about three grand for that i'm not being funny i'm being serious is i'm presuming that you have been to bangkok before though uh katoy uh one would assume that you've been there before to get a girlfriend uh so probably oh shannon don't google are you from ireland okay welcome to be sure uh have you been to yeah have you been to um thailand <laughs> i forgot where i was going then uh oh yeah any newbies any newbies on here look a lot new toy it's a it's a c3 no not a c3 no. it's a what's that one from star wars what's that robot from star wars got a new mic you did not know well no not many people do i mean do you, I mean, you don't drive though do you so you wouldn't know r2d2 that's the one doesn't doesn't that look like R2-D2? <laughs> <laughs> R2-D2, yeah. Now, that wasn't part of the quiz, by the way. That was just, that was just me with a, a wonky memory, because I, I, C-3PO, I was thinking, but it's not C-3PO. 
the other one. Why do they have to have it like that? Can I have another rant? Can I do another rant? Simon, Simon, come in, Simon. Can I have another rant, please? Patty Harris for pedos. <laughs> Oops. I can't say that. <laughs> well, it's, it's whatever. You'll need to paint it blue and white. I didn't know R2-D2 was blue. Oh, yes, it is, isn't it? Yes, of course it is. No, I did not know to Google. Well, you do now. Thank you, Simon. Well, you know. <laughs> he's, on the, he's on the ball. <laughs> I've got no control here. I've lost control. Um, so, what is the consensus then? Have we got a consensus on this, this quiz question? Do we think that we can drive on the undertake on the motorway in the UK? I know you, you can in other countries, so you're out. <laughs> it's not it's not that sort of quiz. <laughs> you can still take part. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Australia and uh, America have signs. It, in the UK, it is illegal to undertake. Well, wait for the answer and you'll find out. Uh, normally, oh yeah, and Canada, Canada, they have signs. They, they say that in Canada, you can, if there's a sign, um, and it says that you can undertake or overtake, it's okay. So in Canada, uh, Australia, and America, you may, oh, and, and don't forget Germany, we have to remember them, they drive BMWs. I thought this was a film quiz. Well, you're, you're, you were, you are, you are indeed correct. <laughs> Except that there was a minor malfunction. Oh, God. Uh, how do I put it? I couldn't find the files. <laughs> What's the score currently? I think we have the most points. Uh, no, I've got the most points. I haven't given them out yet. <laughs> right, I will put you out of your misery. Uh, and I will tell you the answer to this question because the answer, surprisingly, is that you can. You can undertake in lane one on the UK motorway. It is, let me just say, it is not recommended that you do it because of safety reasons. Uh, you are allowed to undertake on the motorway in the UK in slow moving traffic, less than five miles. That is only on uh, normal your carriageway type thing. Uh, the rule, uh, I think it's rule 28 uh, or rule 26, you know that. It, the, the terminology, the terminology is very important. If you look in the highway code or the, all right, I'll give you half a point. Get a half a point for that. Okay, so go, go hopping, half a point along with everybody else who got the wrong answer uh because i don't think it was right was it you didn't get the right answer uh you said it was illegal no you don't get a half a point but that's a motorway not a highway what yes exactly the motorway rule 28 uh, or, or Rule 26, whatever, whichever one it is. Um, Simon cannot be flat out on Google because Google doesn't know. Google is wrong. Um, if anybody doesn't believe me, then go on my channel and watch the advanced driving video for the motorway. Uh, driving on the motorway. Don't watch that. Go in there will tell you the exact wording for that rule 
and basically you are allowed to do it on the motorway as I say no you're, you're not you're wrong and you, you might be a professional driver but you are indeed wrong I am an advanced driver Institute of Advanced Motors, Motorists and I have been for nearly 20 years uh, so I'm I've done the equivalent of the police driving test which allows you to drive in an advanced manner so I'm an advanced driver and one of those skills is knowing how to drive <laughs> so and by the way in my past I was a professional driver too super we have it now I have an argument on the channel <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will refer you, all right. What is my second name? That, that will answer your question because we'll tell you who's right. Um, anyway, so being <laughs> both of you couldn't drive <laughs> out of my way. <laughs> what, what are you driving? Are you driving a lorry? I'm a totally unprofessional driver and Andy is still wrong. <laughs> I don't think so, Jamie. <laughs> anyway, I, I will say two things. One is, yes, that's right. <laughs> Andy is right. Yes, I am. That's right. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> what a good trailer with the giraffe. That's very naughty. You made me laugh. <laughs> I've got to go. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm not giving a fellatio to anybody, okay? It's not like a, a little midget or something down here. It's actually the microphone. Well, you anyway, R2D2 down here. Don't worry. Uh, no, <laughs> no points. Because I'm always right. <laughs> and the concept of having a giraffe on a trailer has intrigued me. I really want to do that now. A bit awkward for low bridges, though, isn't it? <laughs> you wouldn't get them through underneath a low bridge. Mind you. It's only in the UK that have those uh, things, low bridges. So, what was I saying? Anyway, I forgot what I was saying now. Come on. Uh, yes, advanced driver. So, the advanced driving test is the same as the one that um, police drivers do, uh, equivalent of police. And uh, in actual fact, my driving instructor was a ex-police driving instructor so he was teaching me even before i did my uh, advanced driving test he was teaching me the correct way to drive that might not be what you lot are doing um it's certainly what i don't do anyway all the time <laughs> question two what is the name of my five YouTube channels. <laughs> uh, Kathoy, Kathoy crazy. When are you traveling again? Another very sensible question from a lovely viewer and participant in this live stream. So I welcome welcome sensible questions, and I don't I don't answer questions that are rude. Or have any reference to do with giraffes <laughs> or the fact that I'm a bad driver the, the answer to the question is hopefully and this is a uh, announcement to the world hopefully December it's been a long time I know but then hopefully by then I will have a little bit of dosh available to me so I'll be able to go uh, hopefully December and also 
I'm not looking at the live stream chat. Because you just want me to read it. <laughs> How long is your bad cars, Nick? Andy is giraffist. <laughs> no, I'm not giraffist. I'm elephantist. <laughs> and uh, I'm I'm a squirrelist. And I'm talking to RTD2 down below the chat. So you can't see me. Ah, there you are. Ah, hello. Um, so, Simon... Why didn't you know that uh, answer? You're a professional driver. Is it because you haven't done the advanced driving tests by any chance? Check out Turkish Airlines when you book. Oh, okay. There's been a lot of suggestions as far as airlines is concerned. You are wrong. Simon, I'm not wrong. I'm right. <laughs> In fact, I'm Andy right. And I'm always right. <laughs> Go and look it up. Oh yes, that's what I was saying. Oh, I was telling you the reason why. Uh, in the highway code, there are various rules in there. And the difference is, the, the wording is must you must do this okay if it doesn't say you must do this it will say something else which is okay so for example two wrongs make a right <laughs> very good very good yes i have used eva um in fact, I had a uh, premium economy. And it's very good too. And it was not too bad price either. I had uh, my first, in fact, that was my first trip. My first trip, I went to Thailand, Eva. Oh, depends if you book it in advance. If you book it in advance, it's fine. Um, I left it too late. But I don't I don't know anything about Turkish Airlines. Except that they maybe they go from Turkey. Um and they're flown by chickens. You had a crush on Eva. <laughs> Very good. Very good. I like that one, Pumpy. Was funny, but I tend to for people that um, are interested. Oh, six hundred for a premium. That's pretty good. Um, can't remember. What, I can't remember what I paid. It was two years ago. By Istanbul. I don't like stop offs. I don't like stopovers. I really can't be doing with those. All right. So B A. From 480. Oh yes, quite right. Go on to uh, Simon Land of Smiles, Thai or uh, whatever his name is. <laughs> Land of Smiles, Thailand. You got too many websites, mate. 490 from Dublin. Wow, that's pretty good. And that's return, I presume. I've got to pay more. 480, 490. I have seen it for around about three, three, 390. I think I saw it once. Um, I think my my very very last trip was 450. I'm pretty certain it was 450. Uh, it was Thai Air. I generally go Thai Air mainly because I've been collecting the points. Oh, cut that to our sale, three twenty. That's pretty good. Land of smile, Thailand.com. 
Heathen. <laughs> oh. Oh, if I drink any more, I'll have to go to the toilet, I think. Anybody on here not seen my toilet advert? Well, if you have seen it, would you like to see it again? Hi, Ian. You bounced. Oh, well, that was painful. <laughs> you bounced from PF Stream. Wow, that must have been really painful. What's that? No. No, you haven't seen it, or no, you don't want to see it. <laughs> I'm going to stop these cryptic messages because I can't understand the word of them. Oh, no, you're wrong, mate. Thai Airways have got the 380s. They got, I went on 380 last time. They, they, they're lovely planes. And they're really, really, really smooth as well. They really are. It was um just over, just around 11 hours. So quite quick. I think you must have put it in fifth gear or something like that. Because it was really, really good. No stops. So, yeah, I mean, they used to use the old, uh, old planes, the uh, whatever they were called um, before. But they got 380s now. Oh, that's sat at the front of the plane. Yeah, they, I mean they are they are really good. They are really good for for service. And uh, last time, because I went, you saw me on seven four seven. Yeah, you did. I think um, I think what happened was they they had a seven four seven one way. And then a, a 380 back. Um, yeah, so you're probably right. Well, 747s they used to have before, um, for last time. Last time I went was December. So before that, then they would have been 747. Um, yeah, I mean, they're okay. They're okay. I generally go... Go to the uh, go to find a spot at the back, um, and have like a bulkhead, so I can put me put my chair back, and not worry about annoying somebody behind me. Cause I tell you what, I can have a rant. I can have a rant, Simon. I need to have a rant. I need to have a rant about ink and considerate. People on planes. They're really annoying people. They're like, they're worse than 40 mile an hour drivers. Question two. <laughs> I think you'll find that's question three. What am I going to rant about tonight? I'm going to rant about the fact that you haven't got the right question number. <laughs> uh, I forgot what I was going to say now. What was I going to say? I've, got, I've still got this uh, moisturiser here. I'm going to tell you what that was, why? Did I tell you what that was? CBD. That's my CBD spray. So basically, you get your spray. Right into the mouth. <coughs> Taste of coconut. Can my wife live without her phone? Um, in a word, no. <laughs> you need that from Thai Air Bog. <laughs> It, it does look like that, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, now I'm on this CBD and CBD oil and it's a taste of, taste of coconut. But it's supposed to be good. Uh, I've had it for, uh, what's that? 
uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, three days, and I think it works. I have uh, three times a day. Quite expensive. <gasps> Cost eleven thousand five hundred blinky neck. Those were the days. God oh, blimey. That's a lot of money. Well you're going by the um by the seat of your pants. Twenty stops. It was that long ago? Did they have long haul then? <laughs> Or was it just short hops? Like the uh, the Wright Brothers plane. Then you have to sit on the roof. A little uh, the twin wing plane. With a, with a tow bar. <laughs> so PF, did you did you finish your live stream then or or was it uh, or did you quit just to come over here? So the CBD is 50 odd, 50 odd quid, but I think uh, if it's going to give pain relief, then it's got to be worth it. Yeah, I bet you've got your money's worth out of that. I would. But you're going Concord or something. Oh, that price. Damn me. Did you ask them, um, can I buy it for 11,500? <laughs> um, you should have said, I don't want to buy the bloody plane. I just want to fly on it. <laughs> uh, do you pay the whole bill when you go out to dinner in Thailand? Ah, that's a very good, another very good question. Um, the answer is probably yes. Now, you will know the unwritten rule. There's unwritten rules with Thai. Is if you're with Thais, there's no argument about who pays. You and the Farang, you pay. And uh, I have yet to see any of my Thai family buy me lunch or buy me dinner in a restaurant and pay for it. They're quite good at ordering it, and uh, then you pay the bill at the end. But for them to actually order it and pay for it, very, very rare. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, that's very kind of him. Come and see my stream. Yeah, right. You have another point for that. Simon, question, they're still asking question two, we've gone past two, probably about question four, well, it depends what you, what you mean by fair, this is the, uh, the thing that most people don't understand about Thai culture. And I feel a, a little bit of a speech coming on, so I'm going to get my mic. I'm going to get me R2, D2. Testing, testing. One, two, three. Ah, well, you're very lucky, Mark, then, because... Uh, I'm the one that pays. So you've obviously got a lovely Thai family and they they appreciate you and they don't want to take the mickey out of you. So you are very, very lucky. However, the average person, uh, there is uh, a, a story which I, I didn't tell you about. Um, there was, there is two people that we know of who are currently
We're not on question two. I have a rant about that in a minute. As long as you don't put patty out and culture in the face. <laughs> Quite right. Quite right. Yes. Oh, there you go. See? Thank you, Shannon. It won't link, but you've got the right video. Well done. So the uh, advanced driving um, question, video, etc. You'll find that there on my channel. It will tell you the rules and the legal rules, the proper rules. Um, so, yes, I think uh, the whole Thai thing. People go to Thailand. Let, let's, let's invent somebody, shall we? Let's invent a 54-year-old man who is a uh, very highly paid surgeon and he earns £150,000 a year. He works in the UK and he's worked all his life and now, age 54, he says to himself, I need a wife. I think I'll go to Thailand and get a wife. And then bring her back to the UK and everything will be very happy. Um, the problem with that is that he is so naive that he thinks that reality is um, about flashing the cash. And everybody will do what he says and uh, basically it will all come out in the wash. Unfortunately... He went to Thailand and he discovered that his first trip to Thailand, he fell in love with a girl he'd met for about 10 minutes. He uh, took her off to Phuket. And we all know what we think of Phuket. Um, yep, yeah, uh, down on the beach there, he met other Farang couples with Thai ladies. And they had a wonderful time. They went down the bar. They got pierced every night. They had rampant, rumpy, pumpy. Sorry, pumpy. They had rampant, pumpy. Uh, they had, what was it? Horizontal aerobics. Yes. They had a horizontal aerobics every night. And they were very, very happy and in love. After... Less than a week. Um, so they get back to the house, and uh, first thing they have to do is they have to go out for a meal to the restaurant. Guess who pays? Can we change the imaginary man to Mr. Go Go Hopping? <laughs> Ah, 79 Neverly. Sister A has hit the jackpot. Yes. Well, she has. But the idiot bloke is living in cloud cuckoo land. Yep, the punter always pays. Quite right. The, the Thai culture thing, you know, as a general rule, unless you've got a lovely, caring family that really care about you as a human being, and they don't want to take the piss, then you're going to end up paying no matter what. So, whatever. Yeah, whatever. So, does it really? It sounds familiar. Good. Well, it's not about you, by the way, as they say. It's not about you. It's all about me. No, it's not, not even me. It's this other bloke. Uh, so, they, they go back to the house after... Three or four days. Yeah. And first thing they do is they have to go down to the market, buy some food, they buy prawns and fish and and crab and they take it back. Are they are you saying that they're taking the piss? Uh yeah, some 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 are. 
yep, some are. They do. They do like the piss. Um, and some, if you've listened to any of my stories, then you'll know that these can be, they can be family members as well. So it is very, very, you have to be very cautious as well. Very, very cautious. A sarcastic slight. Racing? Bar girl? Never. Are we still doing the quiz? <laughs> no, we're having the chat. We're having the chat. Oh, exactly. They are there. Yeah. yeah. Um, give me a minute and I'll tell you about that in a minute. Yeah. But however, I haven't said that. I forgot where I was. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh, yes, the crap. The crap. The crap. It's not about you. It's not about you. So they 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 drag him off down to the uh, local market, and he pays. So he buys everything. They take it all back. They cook it, and then next day they go to the. Um... Oh, I don't know about that, Jamie. I don't know about that. I think there's a higher proportion. If there, if you know any that aren't like that, then let me know. <laughs> let me know. I want to meet them. Because I really do. I think... Uh, I shy you drink too much in the shower and so... And so oh, I don't know. don't know about that, Ian. That's a bit rude, actually. Your missus? Well, yeah, but I can't marry your missus, can I? I can't marry your missus. She's already taken. So, I mean, one, one lady out of quite a few. I mean, come on. I know, I know loads. There's two guys that I didn't get to tell you about. And they've just, uh, they've just been, they live in the UK and they've got, they've got Thai wives and they live in the UK and they've just been talking to uh, uh, somebody that I know. And they both said, Oh my God, these Thai women, they're just crazy money. They just, I can't keep up. I'm in debt. And one of them was on his second wife. And the first wife had died. And he, he went down the same route again and got another one. I mean, crazy. And he, he knew from the first time round that they cost a lot. I mean, it's worse than having, uh, whatever, where you pay monthly. It's like crazy. But so you're very lucky, Jamie. You're very lucky. And I wish you best because you are one of the few um, lucky people, along with Ian, I think it was, or whoever said that earlier. Uh, yeah, so um, next day they have to go to the restaurant with the whole family. Um, and guess who pays? It's the doctor. And then... Uh, just last week, uh, when was it, the 11th, he flew home to the UK to go back to work. And of course, leaving his beloved um, girlfriend, stroke wife, back in Thailand, he's promised her that he will pay for um, English lessons and he's going he's gonna to buy a visa for her to go to the UK to live um, with him and everything. And they've known each other for probably 11 days. I said, um, I said, I asked about it. I said, uh, do they talk every day? Uh, he said, uh, yes, they do. They talk once a day uh, when he's not working. Uh, and then I said, um, yes, I saw the question. I'll answer it in a minute. Um, the next question I asked was when I heard that he sent some money via Western Union to the to the lady. Uh, I said, "How much did he send?" Because I'm really no t nosy. Or I just want to know. Probably twenty thousand or fifty thousand, probably. Um, but the, the thing is, again, novice. 
doesn't know F all. Didn't give her the, the number that you need to have to go and get the money. No, she couldn't get the money. And then gave the, when they, when you finally give them the number, the number is wrong. So there you go. Uh, I think uh, if you if you really do find a honest, reliable, um, decent lady, then you are really really lucky, and you should really hang on to them because they are worth gold. Um, and I don't know how you can tell the difference between a good one and a bad one, except by um, whatever they say. It's like elimination, isn't it? You have to have a go and see if it works. But what I would say is don't put your five eggs in the basket before you commit. For, try and find out everything. And you'll find that stuff will come out a year or two later that you didn't know about. And you may be shocked by some of the stuff that you hear. Uh, so, Jamie, I'm very happy for you, mate. I really am. I really am. I think that you are not happily married, Andy. Well, um, I would say that there, there are things that my series... I really talking about the relationship and the how we met and everything. We're up to part four at the moment, I think, and uh, or part five, whatever number it is. Um, there is stuff that I'm not going to be talking about because it is too personal, and you really don't need to know it. Um, which would possibly lead to that sort of kind of conclusion. I would say that sort of conclusion is possibly inevitable. Um, yes, so, but I think that it's a whole different ball game. Uh, you're dealing with another culture. The problem is that I find that people say uh, that they go to Thailand and they expect it to be the same as the UK. And it isn't the same. The ladies, they have a different mindset. Um, they are not good with money. They cannot budget to save their life. This is because they are Buddhist. They live for today. Everything is about today. Yep, yeah, so the way you tell is they don't do all the things you say. Why does that change when in Um <clears throat> The problem I've just mentioned was that some of them does some of these things don't come out for a while. So if like the doctor chappy, you jump in with both feet and then you find out too late um, that you have a bad one, a bad apple. There's not a lot you can do about it, really. You either have to live with it or you have to get rid of it. Um, so, but they are lovely, lovely people. And they, but the, the whole mindset is about uh, living for today. They live for today. There is no future planning. They cannot plan for tomorrow, let alone next week. I just don't like that the Thai girls are with... Yeah, I mean, this is the problem, isn't it? That they, they're becoming westernised. Um, yeah. The, this is one of the off-putting things about going to Thailand, is that they are becoming more and more western. And it's like when you when I went to Moscow, for example, it's all about Western society uh, now. There's no Russian culture. It's all about that, and it's it's different. But 
I think I, I went to Moscow for the Russian experience, not to go there to find out that it's the same as here. So. Again, again, you don't know because I don't think it's deliberate. But a lot of the um, relationship stuff go closer to Mike. We haven't got a Mike here. Mike's not in here. I can't go any closer. I think. You'll think I'm doing something down here. You'll think I'm doing R2D2. Oh, that was naughty. <laughs> that was very naughty, wasn't it? Um, now you made me forget what I was saying, Simon. Oh, I was going to say something else as well. I was going to tell you about... What was I going to tell you? Oh, yes, the Thai family. Um, yes, uh, so... Thai girls like to be bossed. I don't know about that. If I tried to boss my my lady, she'd probably punch me in the mouth. <laughs> Mind you, that's that's what's happened to that other guy, isn't it? From from Chiang, Chiang Mai, he got punched around a bit, and then he had to leave Thailand. Oh, did I say that out loud? I can't lift it up. It's too heavy. Look. It's huge. I know, I know the mic. Anyway, so the thing I was going to mention was earlier on that you said uh, about um, uh, I didn't hear a thing. What? You can't say that, Ian. Okay, just a reminder. <laughs> just a reminder. If you're gonna do, um, if you're gonna put comments on there, then keep them clean because we got live chat on the on the on the video. And if um, YouTube look at it, they can they can delete this video or whatever. Um, so please, no profanity. Or anything like that, please. Thank you. Keep it clean. Uh, obviously, the odd, the odd, the odd little word like "shh" is okay. Um, but hey, yeah, okay, yeah, no problem. Uh, International P. I remember Prince. There you go. Hey, hello. How are you? Uh, yes, Russell. Uh, probably most ties are obsessed with money because. Most of them haven't got any. Um, the majority, there are a, you know, a growing number of people that are getting richer, but the average family is quite poor uh, in comparison to Western families. So, uh, PF, please tell him the rules. What rules are they? And so the rules are at the top of the screen. Don't use profanity or offensive language or you'll be banned because this is all about going on the final video um, with the live stream chat. It's an experiment really to see if it works. It makes, it makes my life a lot easier because I have got to read out every, every comment. I can just uh, read out the ones that I want to read out. Um... GDP about six thousand US dollars. Well, that's not much, really, is it? Yes. Thanks, Pumpy. Appreciate that. Now, I, I don't. Just to clarify, uh, I don't use. Um, I mean, I might say the odd words like you know, shit, but we don't. I don't try to. To use deliberate profanity because I don't see the point of it. Okay, so in including my channel, my channel videos, 
then I don't use profanity. I will usually beat them out. Um, so, you know, I, I don't see the point. If you can't, if you can't talk without having to say f this or f that, then you haven't got the command of the English language. I know that um, some people will disagree with that, but you know that's just the way it is. Really, that's just the way it is. Yes, the rules on this channel are only I can say <laughs> naughty words. But then I don't say them very much. And I never say the uh, word. <laughs> um, yes, so is time quite poor? Yes, it is. Are you sending money? Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> not anymore. Um, so... Last trip, I think it was. Yes, December. Was it December? Anyway, it was either. No, you can't. Uh, it was either August or, or December last year that we went to Bangkok. And my wife and I. Uh, oh, it must have been. It must have been December because that was when we went to see Kev in Thailand. Um, so we stopped off at Bangkok um, for one for two nights, um, and we met up with my wife's sister and family. And um, we we obviously um, they used to live in, in pardon me they used to live in Konken, uh, but they moved back down to Bangkok uh, because um, the husband who works for customs um, has been transferred down there so he's now having to work in in Bangkok um, but their their family actually come from Bangkok anyway they have a, they have a house there um, that was another story having to go on a motorbike because it's too damn Bar to walk. Um, I'm jumping on the back of this motorbike and he's driving down these alleyways to, to get to the house because there's nowhere to park near it. Um, scary stuff. I've only ever been on a motorbike twice on the back of it, so that was a second time. Scared the living daylights out of me. Um, so we, we arrived there, we went to this restaurant uh, and uh, it was a good restaurant, and we said, um, that's fine, we're happy with that. Uh, it was a seafood restaurant, so we all had uh, prawns, crab, everything else. And then um, the sister of the husband, okay, gets a bit confusing. Um, so the sister of the husband arrives at the restaurant obviously they've told her that we're going to this restaurant so she she turns up with her boyfriend and we don't i don't know who he is never seen him before um i have met her before because she came to my wedding in um Konken. uh so she we've already ordered ours so she orders something um Fair enough, you know, uh, family members. So, all of a sudden, they get up and they go. They say, bye, right, we're, we're off. And they leave. And I think, oh, well, that's polite. And, and of course, that, that food that they ordered was all on the bill. So it was a, a bill that I paid. Um, so... I did expect to pay for that. Uh, last time I talked to you, November. Yes, you did. Well, it depends if they're willing. I think the question is loaded because the 
it's not a huge age gap age gap the the age gap that we have is uh 12 years uh between us uh so i didn't go for a uh a younger lady uh yes you did that's right mark yes you did so the thing is that i will say about these relationships they they can work and they will work if both parties are willing to try all oh, right you didn't put question two in front of it so how the hell do i know uh well you know i think Shannon, you need to get in your airplane and um go off and have a look well i've got candy crush on mine so i'm all right I've subbed now, good man. Thank you, Mark. You're very kind. I'm very kind. Thank you. Uh, appreciate that. And uh, don't forget to tell your friends to come and sub. Um, and everybody else on here, give us a thumbs up, like and share. I think the record was 9 or 10. Uh, so the real chances of, of making it work are when you both attempt to make it work by realizing that there's a culture difference and then trying to make allowances for the other person's culture because if only one of you does that then it's very one-sided and it will not work if one person is holding on to their 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 cultural beliefs and their and their way of life and not willing to change at all or not willing to adapt then it will never work and this is where the problem is we people in the west we are possibly we are worldly wise we we can travel the world with a uk passport you can go literally anywhere in the world any country you like the thai people they, they are limited to very few countries that they can go to uh, with with their with their travel so gen generally they don't generally they stay in thailand they they've never been outside of the country uh yes i think i will leave my wallet at home <laughs> uh the thing is that if you both work at it it's like communication problem is is i don't mean i don't mean speaking thai and i don't mean speaking english i mean a community if you don't talk to, to your partner and they don't talk to you then it's never going to work i feel that like, i feel like marriage guidance here <laughs> point is that marriage is difficult marriage marriage requires work it requires you to make an effort and and really 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 try hard um when you go to pengpin oh yes I, fantastic place that's my favorite um my favorite restaurant Pin. Um, I even know know the owner uh, quite well, and we he, he speaks very good English, and uh, we often have a little chat uh, and, a, and a whiskey or two there, and uh, he's a um, very nice chap. Uh, Simon, yeah, I uh, that hasn't happened to me, um, so. If it happened to you, then you're very privileged. Well done. Um, <laughs> yes, well, I think doing things when you're pissed is a bit, a bit dodgy, really. 
you always need to have a clear mind. Uh, and also, the other words there that you've used is bar girl. So, you know, three words in that, in that whole paragraph, that really, they don't go together quite well. <laughs> yes. Huh? Less than two foot tall. On the, um, continuing on from the Bangkok uh, restaurant, so the, the next day, um, we we go to another restaurant, we go to a diff different one, uh, that's me, my wife, sister, and husband alone, so the sister of the husband isn't invited, however, the I think it was the husband got a call from from his sister uh, saying, "Where are you? I'm I'm, I'm on my way." Um, and I'm thinking, "Oh, okay. Well, she's going to invite herself to the restaurant, which she did, and, and she turned up. Luckily, she turned up alone. But um, then, well, we we'd actually finished our meal." We we were actually just drinking the last bit of um, beer and that, and um, they we finished all the food and there was not, not hardly anything left. Uh, so she came along, sat down, and she was like looking at these plates, and uh, so sort of, oh, there's no, no food. So she picks up the piece up the. Um, the menu, and I, I see her do it. I think, oh, I'll have a word with with her about that. But she, she doesn't speak English, so I said to my wife, "She not order, she not order food. We we finished, we go now." Um, she sort of, she must have said something to her, um, but she did order something, some um, finger food. I, I would say, I would call it. Um, I can't remember exactly what it was now, but she ordered something. And um, it came out eventually, and then she started picking on it, and then she pushed it away. I was thinking, no, 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 you order it, you eat it all. Like, we've all finished. You've ordered that, you eat it, basically. But uh, it didn't quite go off, with, uh, go off like that, um, because when I, when I said to my wife about it, uh, she obviously had said something similar. Um, like he's not happy, <laughs> so the sister and the husband finish off the remaining bits of food. But when you look at that dish that she ordered, it wasn't cheap, and there was no sort of "Can I order, please?" It was bang it was straight in there, and I ordered the food. So whether whether this is all about. Um, how they do things, or whether it's because you're a Farang and they just think, well, it'll pay, it's fine. Um, because they wouldn't, normally, they wouldn't order that stuff. They would order something very basic. Um, but because you're paying, they would order like prawns or something like that, which is more expensive. Um, and then, basically, we had finished the the whiskey, or they 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 drunk the whiskey. That's my wife and whatever. Um, they but we only had um, a small bottle, so we only had the the half the half bottle. Where's me the Where's me the hand gone? Yeah, buddy. The half bottle one, uh, rather than the big bottle. Uh, we we had that, um, and then they said, oh. Can we order the other, the other, another bottle? And I went, no, we're we're going now. It's like, why do we want to order another bottle? Yeah, you know, we'll be here all night. Um, of course, we left. We paid the bill. We left. And then he said, they said on the way back to the to our hotel, they said, let's stop at the seven. So we stopped at the seven. They jumped out. That's the husband and sister, and they dashed into the seven. And they got cans of beer. 
And I thought, oh, well, where's mine then? But they didn't buy them for, the, for me. They bought them for them to take home. And so, well, that's quite common. That's a quite a common thing that happens when you're out. Um, and when it doesn't happen like that, when, when in fact they, they do have some consideration, my wife's brother came out of this uh, seven. We were driving to um, some temple or, or other. He came out of the, the seven and he had a uh, ice cream. And he actually bought this ice cream and he gave it to me. That is the one and only time that somebody has bought me a, uh, a ice cream like that. Voluntarily. So it does happen occasionally. Uh, right, so we're having a little conversation about Thai ladies. Yes. Looks like so you're a very lucky man then, uh, Katoy. Uh, if you've got a nice lady that's got a job, never ask you for money, then you've got a keeper there. You've got a real keeper. Um. Yeah, again, Simon, I think you're a very lucky chap. I think, I think with your family, you're very lucky in the fact that they're not the same as um, the average family. I think that, yeah, that it can be seen as quite common uh, like that. But ultimately, I think that they're all out for, all out for the, for the money. Um, I mean, I was actually propositioned by my wife's mother. She, she wanted me to buy her um, a phone, a mobile phone, first time. Um, I think that was probably April or August. Basically, she, would, she wouldn't say no. She wouldn't take no. She wanted a bloody mobile phone. So, you know, we popped down to the... Uh, local market um, my wife was telling her mum look there's one over there 7,000 I say no 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 I have one of these ones over here it was like 3,000 and it was good enough you know it was a, it was a proper phone and so in the end she got one for 3,250 baht but I got propositioned by, by her mum and um, me being stupid and, and trying to, you know, uh, make a good impression, I bought it. I bought it for her. Uh, so, you know, people will say to me, it's your own bloody fault. You, you actually paid for it. So, you know, it's your own fault. If you're going to pay for it, then just say no. But have you ever tried to say no to a Thai lady? I think that that is something that you're going to find extremely difficult. Jamie, if you're still here, have you ever said no to your wife? Yeah, well, Pompey, my wife, um, last trip, um, she broke her phone. Uh, she wouldn't have, um, she said, I don't want it repaired. That's it. So they turned it, she turned her nose up and that. I had to go and get a new phone. I was a bit annoyed about that because I bought that phone in the first place. But yeah, she 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 was there when I when I bought it, so I know what phone it was. It wasn't a cheap phone. Um, 
but I don't know. Sometimes you wonder if, if the if it's deliberate or not. But I don't I don't think that was deliberate. I think it was uh, it was broken. You know, they keep the docks tidy. <laughs> well, we got a lot of chat on here today. It's really good. Yes, I th oh hello Tim. I didn't see you there. Yeah, there are good. Oh no, I've never. I've not. I've not known any good good in laws. I've never had any good in laws. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, new glasses. Oh my god, Jesus Christ! Did I ever get ripped off there? That wasn't her. That was the shop. Bloody vision shop. God. If you never said no, you desperately need to reevaluate the power in your relationship or grow a pair of balls. <laughs> yes, wow. They were a rip-off, yes, uh, Russell. The the shop, uh, basically, they saw me coming. And, uh, it, but you've got to remember, guys, right? When you're put in that position... We're all, we're all probably the same, all right? I don't care what you say here on chat or into my face. You will probably be doing the same as I did. Embarrassingly, embarrassingly, you will probably just pay it because you cannot. It's that that tie thing. I know, I know, I'm Western, but tie thing of saving face. You. You can just be as just as embarrassed as they are, so when they come out with this un, unrealistic figure, and you've promised your wife to get them these glasses, and it's way over your budget, and you think, my God, this guy is taking the mickey, but you can't back out. And for all those people that say that they would back out, and they would come out of the shop. I don't believe you. I do not believe that with your wife there, you would turn around and say, no, that is too expensive, when you just had the eye test done. And unlike in the UK, you can actually have your eye test done for free and then take your uh, prescription any way you like. So, if you're telling me that you would, you would let your wife go and have a, a, an eye test, find out that she needed glasses, then when the shop tells you that the glasses are this price, and off the top of my head, um, I think they were about twenty-five thousand baht. That is the frames and everything, and they were just designer frames. Um, the eye test, the lens is and everything else. Um, about twenty five thousand, I think. So if you can tell me that after all of that, that when they tell you the price, that you can turn around to your wife and say, "I'm not buying it," but I walk out of the door, and still have a relationship next day, then I'm sorry, I don't believe you because. That, when you're in that position, trust me, you are really, really, you don't know, I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. Yeah. So, it's, it's all about, you know, it's not about growing balls. It's, it's about reality. Because reality, when you're in the situation that you're in, and, and, and doing it, you know, could the surgeon look at your head? <laughs> He's a back surgeon. He's not a head surgeon. And there's, by the way, there's nothing in there anyway. So, ah, uh, yeah. I mean, there are. I mean, again, again, with with hindsight. Okay, remember, we're all now talking about this two years on. 
yeah and if you if you lot have been there two years ago and i'd have asked you this question and you just said no no don't do that do this then that would have been brilliant but because it happened and it's happened already and now we're talking about it hindsight is brilliant you know, I could rule the world with hindsight. 2700 for bifocal from Top Churn. Okay, well, I think it was the same. Top Churn. I just think that he sold me as a Farang. He thought, I'll whack that up, that price up, and he'll pay it. I mean, that wasn't even the top price I was given. It was a it was a higher price than that. I mean, the ridiculous thing was, what am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? You know, it's not like the UK. Yeah, so, you know, so it's all about <coughs> good hindsight. And I think it's really useful that we can't change you know, we can't change the past now. So what's done is done. All we can do is tell you, is tell you about it, and hope that you don't do the same. Please don't do the same. Just listen to people that have done it, and <laughs> you should be. Yes, well, that's another story, isn't it? Um, 6,000 miles to go for that. Yes. Yes, well. <clears throat> so, I don't know, have I answered all those questions? Yes, I have. Uh, uh. Oh, sorry, Jamie, I missed you. Uh, so, I would expect her to seek my permission to use my ego. I am not her keeper. Good, very diplomatic answer. See, if you read that, then that means that you have um, a good relationship because you have communication. You're able to discuss it. So you haven't got to say no because there's an understanding about reality. So if something is expensive and she needs to spend money, then she would say, Jamie, I'm going to buy this. Um, what do you think? And you would say, yeah, okay, fine. Or or you might say, oh, no, I think that's a bit expensive. And then she would say, oh, yeah, I, th I think you're right. And then not buy it. Whereas, you know, that is a good relationship um, and a good basis for uh, communication. This is exactly what I was on about. With If you've got that sort of relationship, then... You're going to go a long way. If, however, there is no none of that, then you know you want a you want a loser. Um, sleep the, with the mother. No, I don't. Have you seen the mother? I, and there's two of them as well, so I'd be very tired after that. There's a. Uh, no, I I went I went for the easy option. I bought her a, a phone. But then again, she was actually after a uh, a bracelet, gold bracelet. Because as you know, gold is worth a lot of money. If they uh, if they have gold, then they're they're rich. Um, but the whole thing about budgeting, they can't budget. They they don't know how to budget. So give yourself, give your wife five thousand and renovate the house. Final bill of 10,000. 10, oh my god. <laughs> well, again, there are stories of um, people who have relationships, they're living together. I think I should have gone there and they do have spec savers. <laughs> yes. I don't know. Do, do they have spec savers in Thailand? I don't know. I don't think they do. Uh, 
But the, <laughs> the the whole thing about spending money is because they have no concept of money, where it comes from and how they get it. Um, because basically is is this weird stuff that they have and they don't have much of it. So when they get it, they, 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 they just spend it because they don't know the value of it. Uh, technically, they don't know the value of it. Um, there's no budgeting. They can't budget. Uh, they, the family have a, a rental house, so they have to pay rent every month. Um, but every month, the same. Rent day comes, and uh, basically, they've got no money to pay the rent. Why? You know, they know they have rent every month. Why don't they save the money up and put it aside? No, because when the money comes in, they spend it again. They don't think about, oh, tomorrow, next week, I've got to pay rent. Let's put some money ready for that. No, of course not. That's too easy. Of course, then they have the uh, problem of the rent people coming round and saying, you don't pay by tomorrow, then you're out. Uh, if you don't pay with this, then basically we'll repossess your car or your bike. Gucci for rang glasses, 27,700 baht. Yeah, 30 sales, 30 dead sale. <laughs> Very good. That's the one. That is the one. I'm sure they don't, Mark. I'm sure they don't have that. <laughs> I'm sure they don't. So, I'm sorry about the quiz. It's been a bit of a disaster. But we will have it. What, what is the score? The score is everybody has nil point. Um, and the, oh yeah, because Mark was on about the uh, spending the money. Um, and don't give your Thai lady a credit card, whatever you do, because you'll find that the, the credit card will be maxed out twofold. So don't give them a credit card, whatever you do. Go, go, hopping for uh, everyone else. Zero. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. I think I only gave you half a point, didn't I? Um, so I, I, I think there's, yeah, I've done that one. I've done that one. Done that one. Oh, right. So you did that in May. I counted 10 bin pads. No, go, go. You can't just add half a point. Must go and cook food. No, you haven't. You haven't got to cook food. You're ill. You can't eat food. You'll just throw up again. Can't go anyway because you're a moderator. Can't leave me. He's not going. Five mark to end. He's not going. He's not allowed. He's a moderator. If you have done a trip and you've not had bin pad, I don't know what a bin pad is. <laughs> if you want the glasses back. <laughs> yeah, they're in Conken, so go up there and get them. No, she's actually wearing them, so it's fine. I do see her wearing them. No, no, it's not all. You, you're a moderator. You can't disappear. You're ill. You told me you were ill earlier. 
You shouldn't be eating for 24 hours. You got food poisoning. Can't be eating food and having growing up. So there. Uh, so I have seen her watching. I have seen her wearing them anyway. So it's it's not a problem. They are they are being used at least, and without prompting as well. Doesn't know. Oh dear. <laughs> Oh, do you wanna? I wanna. I wanna go to the toilet. I think. Um. Oh, where's my mouse gone? I think I need a toilet break. Yeah, Simon. Is ploy? Oops, I've just put. Hang on, I'll be back in a minute. I did put the live stream thingy. Uh, is ploy her niece or her daughter? It's her niece. The she's a she's a daughter of the um ma'am who is no longer living there as of this year, but she was there in December. She's a rather large lady. Um, and uh, the rather large lady has another son um, and uh, from another um, from another bloke a little while um, I don't know who the father is but the Thai family tend to look after the children in the family so she's sort of um, looked after by my wife uh, as such so that's good and then there's the two boys that she looks after but the real mother is Som who is in a uh, relationship with somebody else uh, a never jockey <laughs> a never jockey yes we don't know who it is though um but they've actually moved out of the house. Ploy is still there um, because she obviously is a child and looked after by the parents, the the grandparents, as it were. So no no problem there. Um, yeah, she she's a she is such a lovely girl. She is so polite. I was so impressed with her because on my first or second trip, we t I took her to. Took her and the kids and my wife to the mall, and I can't remember what we did. I can't remember what we had uh, ice cream or something like that. Anyway, I must have bought her something um, or did something for her. Uh, when we got to back to the house, she was like trying to talk to me, and obviously she doesn't speak any English at all. Well, she doesn't then. She does now. Um, She's having English lessons at the moment. Uh, but she was trying to tell me somehow that... So I said to her, I gave her my phone. I said, use um, Google. Uh, so she put in there, um, thank you very much for taking me to the mall. And I thought, wow. That is so polite. And I was so shocked by it. It was so lovely. And um, she's she she always um, whenever I'm there, she always sort of looks after me, makes sure I'm okay, and she'll um hold my hand and make sure that I'm not gonna fall over anywhere when when we're walking out. Um so she is such a lovely girl. Um but the parents, the real parents really don't give a shit about her they really don't care <laughs> but this is quite common when when they have kids they just dump the kids on the family and then move on uh, you know and i think um i think i did i did see her uh, her actual real father once i think he came to the house 
uh, a long time ago. But of course, I, I didn't know who he was then. I didn't know. Yeah. So lovely. And she's doing really well with the schoolwork as well because they're all secondary school now. Um, and she's doing this English uh, language with the local church. Of course, the God Squad, as it were, no offence to anybody on here, but they are, they are God Squad. They are like, I just, I met them in the street and they were like, who are you? Like, well, my wife is their auntie. You know, what's it to you? You know, it's like, mind your own business. I'm family. Probably because I was holding her hand or whatever. I don't know. Maybe you thought it was a bit weird. But, you know, um, uh, so she is learning English, which is really good. And I think it, it, will, it will help her later in life. Uh, but she is really, really helpful. If, if I need anything, she'll, I just say to her, I need some water. And she'll go and get me some water, and then she won't argue about it. She'll look after me, and uh, really good. One of the better ch children that, out there in the family. Um, I mean, the boys are okay, but the the, the, younger, the younger boy's a bit naughty. He's really is a bit naughty, and he, if he wants his own way, then he'll just cry and throw a tantrum and just sort of get really annoying so you know it's quite bad but i don't know about this conversation going on here guys it's getting a bit risky yes it is lovely i think uh yeah and uh i think it, she's like 11 12 years old and her weight really isn't helping much and to be fair it's because she has no parental control there's nobody guiding her into what's good to eat so she'll eat anything sweets or whatever and she doesn't eat very healthy stuff so this is why she's got a bit large and um but basically, her mother is large too, so, you know, it is also, um, it is also about that as well. Hereditary. Uh, yeah, Pumpy, are you doing uh, vlogs from the toilet? I'm going to go to the toilet, I think. I'll be back in a minute. I think I'm, I'm going to go to the toilet. Captain. Incoming message. Wow, what's that aftershave you're wearing? Everyone laugh at a funny joke. Ha ha! Yeah, okay, that was quick. I don't know why my other video didn't play. Us. Are you going to pee yourself? No, I'm all right. All right. Okay. So, what's a bum gun? Oh, I know what that is. Sorry, stupid, stupid question. You don't use those, do you? Oh, God, don't use those. Hey, you end up having a bloody shower. Hey, 79, yeah, hopefully, hopefully going end of this year. So, like, may go before that, but December. Uh, hopefully, December, New Year. Um, I'll go for both. Um, hopefully by then I should have some money together. Um, so, yep. 
anybody uh, want to do the um you know the buy the shirt thing i had on last stream the tie shirts um you swear by the bung gun <laughs> yes i don't know now it's the bum gun is the uh so like a hose pipe that you you clean yourself with when you've been for a number two in Thailand because they don't like to have toilet paper down the toilet you have to wipe it and then put it into the bin um, if you put it down the toilet you'll get blockages mind you you'll get blockages anyway when you have a, a number two that's too big I've had those the, the large number twos are awful they just do not go down the toilet and then you have to use the bomb gun to break them up in the toilet because I will not put my hand down the toilet I'm not going to do that there's no way now I use a bomb gun but apart from that I don't use a bomb gun on me What are play in first set of your Thai blogs? Ah, uh, there she's in all of them, I think. Yeah, she's in all series, three series, all three. In the uh, December one, um, me and her went around the uh, Central Plaza. Only the design for gravy. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. But these the toilet holes, you know, in the bottom of the pan, they're so small and they just get blocked up easy. And then there's no there's no water pressure either. So you press the button, nothing happens. <laughs> yeah, well, it's whatever whatever pleases you really. Uh whatever you find uh I don't like it, so I like. Um, I don't mind the, the paper in the in the bin, but I do forget. Be cool, floral floating. Very good, very good. <laughs> Use a bum gun on your wife. No, I didn't do that. <laughs> Sometimes you wish you could, but you don't. No, no, I didn't. This OBS is really annoying because that one that's because I've copied that engine thing is the source file. No harm in asking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah she's um she is uh sort of 10 11 10 11 12 um because cause, yeah because that's like now two and a half years that i've been sort of going there I don't understand the word of that. <laughs> Maybe I'm speaking a different English. Um, demon lower cow. Is this code? I think you're talking code. Please, um, what's I going to say? So, oh yeah, somebody asked about the big day out. My big day out, motability.
One big dare. Mokeability. By the way, the bag is not see-through. It's just because it's blue. It's, uh, I got transparent on blue, so it's not green. Um, and uh, yeah, so lots of cars. Lots of cars there to look at for end of year when I have to renew my car, change it and uh, pay loads of money for deposit. So this is also a problem financially in the fact that, you know, I have to think long term about um, money going out. Um, if I'm going to have a uh, change my car, I need the car here. Um, to, to go to work so if I don't have a car then you know it's going to be a real problem a genius creator I wish yes now it's called uh, what's it called chroma key you lucky thought pip scratch mobility no they have um, I've got pip now I was awarded Quite recently, the higher rate, so it means I keep my car. Um, yeah, uh, Skoda is that the which Skoda is that the Yeti? Yes, it was Shannon, that's right. It was, uh, so but they didn't have they didn't have the um, um. What's it called? God. Oh my goodness me, the uh, one wheel um, balancing. Oh, oh, why can I never remember the name of the bloody thing? Oh, Jesus. Um, the thing I tested last time, the wheelchair, um, the balancing wheelchair thing. Oh. Uh, balancing wheelchair. Oh, Segway. The Segway, the Segway chair, they didn't have that there. They only, they only had normal wheelchairs and normal power chairs and normal scooters. Uh, Wayne, yes, I have, um, I have cerebral palsy. Have you not been to my channel? If you haven't, then go to my channel and you can watch my um, intro video. It will tell you all about me. Get one made in UK. Yeah, they are about six thousand pounds. They're based on a, a Segway, and they have a chair, a seat on it, and you can. I had a go on it. If you watch my video from a few weeks ago, um, I think it was a Sunday stroll. One of my Sunday strolls ones. Um. I went to this show and I had a go on it. It's really good fun. Really good fun. Thank you, Wayne. Go and have a Oh, you, you can still watch it, I think. Uh, not sure. Uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if you can watch the intro video after you've subbed. Oh, yeah. Yes, but it is... Um, it is something that I have, and yeah, whatever, really. Doesn't stop me. Uh, doesn't stop me from doing anything much, really, apart from uh, nowadays with my back. I've had a back surgery and got a lot of pain, which is why I have the well, CBD. DVD. Oh, Ian, thank you, mate. I won you over. Oh, very good. Yeah, no, no, no problem. I don't really, I don't really focus on it. I mean, the whole point about my channel, if you, if you're not sure, then it isn't entirely about doing these videos, doing these um live streams, because uh, coming up, well, it is partly because uh I want, I want to actually talk about two subjects in two different live streams at some point. 
one of which is going to be about being invisible. If you're if you're disabled, you do tend to become sort of invisible. Um, and if you're not disabled, then you're probably not going to be able to appreciate what I'm saying about this. And the other one that I want to talk about at some point is I'm O O T. You mean you're out? <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you, Cowboy. Uh, good for you. Thank you for coming. Uh, the other the other subject is eugenics, uh, and there's a big thing that I saw this week about uh, seven reasons that prove the Tory party. Sorry, Jamie. The Tory party are committing acts of eugenics. And uh, I was going to have a little discussion about that because for me personally, um, I'm at the I'm at the front end of it. Um, so it would be just like, you know, just a little chat we could have. Uh, saving your next super chat. Or PF. Well, that's good. But you're more than welcome here. Uh, are we going to do a quiz before your throat hurts? Uh, San Diego, my throat hurts now. I was actually just thinking about it. Um, two hours and 15 minutes. I was actually thinking about going and having a, a lie down because my throat is killing me. Uh, so, and I'm not prepared. I haven't got me uh, sound bites or anything like that done. Uh, for some reason, I can't find them. Uh, so it's a bit annoying. Uh, when will that vlog be up? The road show. I'll try and get that done uh, sometime this week. Um, it's not. It's not very interesting, actually. I can just declare. Go up in the winter. Good try. Very good try. Very good try. Oh, Simon, you come back. You didn't leave me. A life passed out on air. Oh, you're talking about PF. I don't drink much. I spill it. So, oh yes, I was just telling you what this channel was all about. Apart from apart from live streams, uh, talking about various subjects, is my live stream. As you probably gathered, if you watch most of my my vlogs, most of them are related to travel. They are things like going around uh, on my scooter, on my my mobility scooter, trying to get into places and see how it happens and um, basically the idea is it's not planned it's not clever it is all about just turning up um and finding out if i can do it or not as per today i went down there to towards exeter i went to this mill this water mill and found that i had to walk in there i couldn't get in there on the scooter so if somebody was in a wheelchair, then they wouldn't be able to get in that place. So it's all about giving the people the idea of what's available and how I get around it. So the travel channel aspect of it is all about that. Oh, and dating sites coming soon. Uh, if you haven't been put off by, um, if you haven't been put off by all the talk about Thai ladies, then, uh, you know, uh, it's all about that. You like looking and having chair envy. <laughs> Goes undercover on dating sites. Yes, that's right. I, I <laughs> at some point. Yes. But it is all about uh, trying to find something that works for you. Um, in, in every aspect of life and there are actually 13 million people 
in the UK alone with some sort of disability. And, and I, if, I, if, um, if just 1% of those people came and found my videos, then I would have a lot of subs. So there we are. I think uh, probably we're going to call it a day for now. Uh, go, go, hopping TV. You can't declare yourself a live stream winner. How does that work? <laughs> yes, well, the NHS ones are rubbish, I know that. But you can, you can actually go to your wheelchair service and there is a, uh, a voucher fund that you can access that you can buy a chair with. So, uh, but you have to fight for it. They don't just give out money. No, no, it's not official. You lot, I feel very well. I feel like, oh my goodness, me, you're railroading me. You railroaded me. <laughs> no, you haven't got the you haven't got the idea. You can't give yourself a shout out. For no real reason. <laughs> and he writes in the house. Uh, oh yes, I forgot you're in Scotland. Uh, I don't know. I presume it's NHS. Uh, it might be NHS England, actually. Oh yeah, I suppose it is the only person I gave half a point to. So he does, he does, he does win. All right, go, go, hopping, you win. Five mark to win, I'm going to give you a shout out. All right, five mark to win. Is that enough? Don't forget, go and check out five, five mark to win. Go and watch his channel and you can um, subscribe. Thanks, Mark. Uh, lovely to see you here. Thanks for subbing and all that. And, uh... <laughs> ah! 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 Nigel Farage falling for a tie bird. <laughs> oh, dear. That's funny, that is. I did win the first ever lost shirt. Yes. Taking off you in the stewards' room. Ah, oh, that's not fair. That's not fair. I wouldn't stand for that. Yeah, so apparently Simon's got a live stream on Tuesday. And you can you can uh, rejoin me on a Wednesday at six uh, eighteen hundred UK time when I will be doing some, hopefully doing some quiz. Uh, if we get the uh, time to uh, research and uh, prepare, then quiz time. And I mean proper quiz time, not a made up quiz. Uh, that'll be Wednesday. Uh, in the meantime, I think we're just about done Two hours and what is it? Two hours and twenty-one minutes. That's pretty good. I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, well, I don't know if you have because it's probably pretty boring, um, and I talk a load of drivel. Um, but we we do need to have a look at this. Uh, this screen here, which you can, of course, remember to subscribe like and share and you can do that by going down right down there down to that button down there so if you haven't already 
and please do that. Uh, P apparently PF is going to be streaming after me, so if anybody wants to go over there, then feel free to do that. I will say thank you very much for coming and uh, listening to my drivel. I'll see you on Wednesday. Oh, apparently he's not. Apparently he's not. Come on, make up your blinking mind. <laughs> are you or are you not? Put the answer here. Oh, he's not. He's already done it. So he's not streaming. So you can't go and watch him. However, if he was streaming, then go and watch him. But he's not. So you can't. Yep, okay. Uh, everybody's all done. And we can actually say three, two. Oh, you've managed to stay for the whole stream. I might upload something, but no stream. Okay. Oh, I'm sure it'll be entertaining. Cheers, everybody, and we're going to go out in three. So get your last messages. Last messages. Okay. Three, two, one.